this is definitely going to go great. Hi there, the right balance here. Today, we're going to talk about parenting, more specifically, two parenting styles which are on the realm of extreme. Also, please note that I am not an expert on anything, whether about children or parenting, I'm not even an expert on myself. So take what I say with a grain of salt, and this is about my observation and research. So let's begin. Authoritarian parenting. Authoritarian parenting. These are parents that care more about the rules they enforce more than anything. I find the belief that their children should be seen and not heard. When their children misbehave, they are punished using fear and discomfort, which is putting it nicely, to keep them in line. They can create and enforce rules that can be convenient for them, regardless of whether it's fair or makes sense. They probably do this due to their egos or, or because they are insecure that they will lose respect from their children. I know some strict parents do do this because they care for their children so they can be respectable members of society, whatever that means, or to toughen them up for the real world or to help them to succeed in their own way. Especially from the last point, they tend to believe that they know what is best for their children without, the, without their input or anything else. So what are the effects on the children? Well, one of the factors about authoritarian parents, especially the extreme kind, care not just about obedience, but also about complete submission, which is likely leads to people who are submitted to almost any form of authority or lie their ways to get what they want or to get out of the trouble that they are in. So this could lead to some people not able to recognize that they are abused or taken advantage of due to believing that the treatment they receive in their childhood is reasonable. So what can be done? Well, one of the... Well, the first thing and the most important thing is to listen and to understand your children. They might not say or do the most reasonable things, but that doesn't mean that what they do should be disregarded. Secondly, is to not assume your experience is all there is to know about everything. Because two people can experience the same thing but get two different things, perspective from it. So discipline and order is necessary. So so is expression and free thinking. Your children might have some insights that can be beneficial. Also, punishment will not be the best solution if your if the child does not recognize their faults. Sometimes making them understand the situation on their own or give them proper guidance whatever that is can be more useful it's not easy but i believe the problem you're facing can be overcame permissive parenting permissive parenting is where the parents take a hands-on approach on their children leave them to be on their own children are left on their own devices with very little interference also when the child misbehaves Barely anything is done about it, except it, if it's something serious. Even the idea of discipline may result in rewarding the child for apologizing for their mis mishaps or doing the right thing, whatever that means. Also, when the children are unhappy, they can be given gifts and taken to places for them to enjoy themselves as a filler. The reason for this style is probably because the parents were probably raised in a harsh or abusive household, so they feel their children shouldn't go through what they went through. Also, they tend to believe that the children are automatically innocent and can't act on malicious intent, giving them a lot of freedom. Also, the parents tend to treat their children as friends for reasons, for reasons unknown. So the effects, well, the first one is that the children will act without thinking about the consequences, lead them into trouble later in life. Also, the parents tend to take, be taken advantage of because the children will act as they please and make sure they are not caught by them. The children can also be led through dangerous parts such as crime and the likes to get what they want in any way necessary. The children tend not to have positive relationships with others, leaving them isolated and depressed, not knowing the reasons. 
So what should be done? Well, rules must be set and enforced. Also, when the child misbehaves, it is necessary for them to understand what they did is wrong and how harmful it is. Also, supervise what they do just to make sure that they are not doing anything harmful to themselves or to others. So what have we gathered? Discipline and your child's happiness are both important. Understanding your child's strengths and weaknesses, especially their moral weaknesses. So yeah, like, subscribe and ring the bell icons for more videos in the future. Bye bye now.